Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Eubanks versus Wilkes. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Eubanks, you say you are here to save your relationship with the defendant by proving that he is your three-month-old son, Mozzie's father. You say once today's DNA results prove paternity, you want to get married. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wilkes, you claim that when Mozzie was born, you hoped for a sign that he was your son. But no matter how hard you looked, it just wasn't there. You say negative paternity results will end your relationship. Is that correct? The end of everything, Your Honor. Yes. All right. So, Ms. Eubanks, you say you want to save your relationship. Explain. I want to save my relationship because we've been together too long. Um, I'm 1,002% sure that he's my child's father. Um, I just want these results for him so we can move forward and get married like we planned. And how has this doubt affected you? It affected me tremendously, like, emotionally. I, I heard you well up with tears. What, what are you thinking? What, what are you feeling? I don't... It's just... It's just emotional. Like, we've been together too long, so you shouldn't have no doubts or no feelings that anything else is going on. And it's not just that he's doubting you, he's doubting your baby. Yes. And how does that feel as a mother? No mother wants to feel that. It hurts a little bit, but he still does everything like a father is supposed to. And yet, you have tears in your eyes because... Because I love him. And I want to be with him. And it's just... I don't know. It just hurts sometimes. Mr. Wilkes, tell the court why you're here today. Well, Your Honor, I'm here. I just need results. Um, I'm tired of guessing, wondering, and uh, things of that sort. And like she said, um, we have been together for so long, so I shouldn't have doubts, but I have my reasoning. It's just the connection. It wasn't there when he first came. You know, like, my kids all give me certain signs, you know what I mean? I just didn't feel any type of connection. You know, I even held him up. I did him like the little Simba. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I can see that you don't take this lightly. You are troubled about this. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I stay up late. Uh, sometimes, like, I'm stressing, really. Like, even growing gray hairs. I'm only 30 years old. <laughs> you <laughs> stay I... up late staring at the baby, just stressing? Yeah. Like, I, me and him would be sitting downstairs. I'll take him, and we'd just be downstairs all the way about 6, 7 in the morning. And, um, uh, you know, it, it, I'm tired of just keep going on with, with, with guessing. I need real results. All right. So, Miss Eubanks, Tell the court how this relationship started and then when it took a turn for the worse. Okay. Um, the relationship started... We met each other at the strip club. Um, we was there for... <laughs> we was there for a family member's birthday party. And oh, okay. It was just love at first sight. Like, we was together ever since. It took a turn for the worst after our first child was born. Um, we had took a little... I guess what he calls it, a so-called breakup. Mr. Wilkes, do you believe during that time she was dating other people? She was definitely talking to other people at the time. I um, was talking... When you say talking, what does that mean? Does me, that mean... That mean that could be sex also. No. Well, we're just not together. <laughs> well, that's not talking then. No. <laughs> no, Your Honor, no. I never had no relations with nobody else but David. I talked to other people when we had that little split, but I never had relations with nobody else. Well, I seen her ex at, at, her house, at her family member house where she had moved to after the breakup. He was going in the house. No. So I catch no. him... Can, I, I catch him going in the house, so me being the person that I am, I parked and I watched to, to, to let him go to <laughs> a little closer. Yeah, so no. he walked a little closer to the door. So that's when I got out, because where else was you going to go? You know what I'm saying? So, so, so as I walked to the door, he turns around and walked the other way. Oh. So when I goes in the house, she's laying in the bed. So what, what, what are you supposed to expect? No. Oh, you mean she's laying in the bed, like, w expecting him to come? She no. was... No, when she seen it was me, she was laying in the bed, she was like this. I'm asleep. Is he, no. So, yeah, no. she really was. She was acting like she no. was asleep. My no, son was no. still up, so I knew she wasn't asleep. No, that is a lie, Your Honor. That is a lie. I had went over to a family member's house. I texted him, and I said, I'm ready to go. 
can you come get us? My ex was still, he's still cool with my family member. Whatever they got going on does not have nothing to do with me. You saw me in the house, in the bed with our son. My, like, you, I'm she, telling you, I'm ready to go. She texts she text me out the blue, asks me, where are you? I'm ready to I, go. You, you've been, you were at a place, a location for hours, and you just text me like, where are you? Oh, yeah. you think she was trying to get tabs, like, yeah, how it, far away no, is he? I know, I don't I've been with her so see, long. That's the thing. I don't need to yeah, be there been, with him. I'm Your straightforward Honor, Your with Honor, him. Your Honor, I've been with her so long, like she said, I kind of know her. You know what I'm saying? So, like, for so her to just... you should know that I wouldn't lie to you about nothing like that. It so, I, my like intuition that. just told me to go. Go I to the house. Go straight to the house. And somehow and your what? intuition led you straight to see this ex coming up towards the door. to the door. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. She looks innocent, Yonner. I am. I am innocent. Yonner, it, it, well, it doesn't matter what she's portraying or what she's trying to say. It's not portraying, it's the truth. I only deal with you. All, we, all I'm, I'm here for I the results. I only eyes for you. I want results. You know, that's it. She said And she this had... really bothers you, Miss Eubanks. I see you're about to cry. Why? Because I love him. Like, I try to show him every day that I'm about you and it's just you. And, you know, even the words you use in your testimony, how you're just trying to prove, 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 that's exhausting. Yes. And that's not how healthy relationships function. Right, no, it's not. So when you're in the phase where you proven and your relationship is some mini Supreme Court case where you got to have evidence and proof. Right. <laughs> uh, hold on. Oh, you got more to add? Got more. I still had this intuition. So I went through the phone one night and seen a video. Uh-oh. You the only eyes for me. But I, I mean, I have video of something that's showing me something totally different. What? Did you bring that video. video to court? I have the video. Let's, oh. let's take Can't a look at the video. video. What do we see here, Mr. Wilkes? We see that's her, that's her uh, when she said she had eyes for me. This is <laughs> during our uh, uh, little, little separation. That's her dancing. That's her, she's bent over, she just slapped the camera. That's a guy behind her, you can't really see in the... You kind of see it? You see that grinding? Okay. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Am I... okay, no, but your honor, before that video and even on. happened, he no. sent me a picture. Oh, yeah. is that a hand? Yeah. No, that was not me. He didn't touch me. No. Yeah, was... but it's all into, it's no. all in. If, if you, if you no. got eyes for this, it, that, that don't even play okay, a role. Okay, but I'm he so-called loved me, but before that even took place, he sent me a picture of him and another girl talking but about this is This wifey. isn't couples court. We're here for a paternity test. It's right, but you, but you love you're me also. Yeah, but, but you're not. But you love me also, but you can't results. say you love me also. We're here for and results. And having relations All with right. somebody else. We're here else. for results. You are in this video. Yes. Yeah, that's her with the And I got... The... That is you bent over, twerking. Oh, you can't see the guy behind her? It's the guy behind her. I see the guy behind her. Yeah. And I also see the hand of another guy coming over... No. ...to he slap... Was... It, that was the girl in front of me. Somebody no, behind. They, no, they had, like, a little four-way thing. She had a girl dancing no, on her and a guy. They, no. they was just doing... They had, they had, like, a whole little party. So, Mr. Wilts, you brought a witness to court that saw this whole thing. Yes. Um, please stand, sir. Step over to the podium. State your name for the court. Dante Gillahan. Mr. Gillahan, you were there that night at this club? Yes, ma'am. What do no. you remember seeing? No, he was not. I remember seeing not. her, the guy, another girl, and another, and another fella. No. And they was in there dancing. So I'm in the club, I'm standing back, I'm looking, all you see is him all on her. They grinding. He is lying. They grinding. He is lying. He is they, lying. They grinding like they... No. Like they he, like wait, they wait, wait, no. wait, 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 okay, okay. He Do lying. it one more time. No, he's lying. <laughs> she, she, she he is lying. Don't look, even listen to him because he's lying. Dude's all on her like this. He's lying. He is lying. I'm like, no. bro. No, I can't want you to do that, that move. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're on. No, no. Go and hit it one time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> One more time, Jerome. <laughs> I needed that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So that... <laughs> so that's what you saw? Yes, ma'am. No, And you are no. sure it was Ms. Eubanks? Yes, ma'am. Right after He's I saw lying. that, I had, I had got in contact with him. I told him, like, bro, I see Jemiah, I know y'all separated, woo, woo, whatever y'all got going on. And he was like, uh, somebody else had sent them the video. Oh! oh. You had an informant. <laughs> so now, did you confront Miss Eubanks about it, or did you just keep it to yourself? No, no, I, I confronted her. And what was her response? Oh, no, look, to this, this video? how I confronted her. I had uh, actually just sent it back to her from my phone. Oh. oh. I'm that type of person. I really, yeah, I'm gonna just put the proof. Okay, I got it. Uh, thank you. Uh, the witness may be seated. Thank you. Mm. Woo. <laughs> All right. So. At some point, Miss Eubanks, you find out you're pregnant. Mm hmm And that was way after this. Way, way after, after that period this. of time. Yes. So when you find out you're pregnant, take me to that day. Um, I had met up with Mr. Wilkes, um, and he had looked at me. He gave me this, this, like, weird little look. And then he just started touching on my stomach, and he was like, is this the little girl that we've been hoping for? And I was like, I hope so. So... Um, after that, it was just, it was like we was together again, like, every day. We were still being a happy family. We was picking our names, planning everything together. I don't know what she's telling you. I told, once I got back with her, that's when conceived, conceived. No. I seen this after. We was, we was still dealing with each Ma other, even maybe, after this. Even don't... dealing or not, that's we why still... we need results, because I don't know who you dealing with. You're doing a lot of I was of dealing. just dealing with you. I was having just relations looks, with you. you I didn't have... You was relations with me, but on, on this video camera, it looks like a lot of relations. How did that look like relations? How? Can you please... Can you, how many I didn't relations? have relations <laughs> with nobody else but you. All right. Well, you brought your mother here today. Yes. And I'd like to hear from her. Jerome, will you please escort Ms. Moreland into the courtroom? Yes. Hello, ma'am. Hello. I'll bring it right up to the witness stand next to the judge. Put your step going up this. Hello. Yes. Hello, Ms. Moreland. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, you realize we are here talking about the paternity as it relates to baby Mozzie. And he has doubts. He does. Um, he'll wake up in the middle of the night. He'll call you in the middle of the night and ask me questions. Do he look... Who do he look like in the family? I don't see that he resemble anyone. And, and, and I'm like, Dave, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. What are you doing? <laughs> and uh, uh, anyone in the family, all of uh, my other grandchildren have very strong resemblance of someone in the family. And so how would you feel if he's not your son's biological child? I would be a little disappointed. A little disappointed, but it wouldn't change anything. I've heard sufficient testimony, and I think it's time we all get the results. Jerome? <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Eubanks versus Wilkes, when it comes to three-month-old Mozzie, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Wilkes, you are the father. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's your beautiful baby boy. Can I give her a hug? Absolutely, if she's okay. Hello. 
Let me say this before we go. There are certain things in our lives as parents you have to give up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right? If you want to have the kind of relationship you dream about. Right. Right? Because these videos right here, they're going to get you in trouble every time. Mm -hmm. Both of you all just set boundaries and set a foundation that leads you to the type of life you want for your children and for yourselves. And that way, nobody's out of pocket on video. Right. All right? Right. So... This has been an amazing case. <laughs> Jerome, I didn't know you had the move. <laughs> I really didn't know. I mean, Jerome... My stripper the... days. <laughs> stripper Graham. Well, I'm gonna... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna adjourn court. <laughs> and, Jerome, why don't you do your moves right on out the aisle and take Miss <laughs> Eubanks and Mr. Wills right on with you. Hit it, Jerome. Court is adjourned. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> 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 Bust the move, Jerome. Oh, there you go.